Hey guys! This is actually my second time filming this video because I got to the end of the first time and I looked back at the video and I had lipstick all over my teeth. So, this time we're gonna nail it. Recently, like most of my videos have actually been um, monthly favourite ones and I love filming these but I really wanted to kind of give you more updates as to what's going on and basically post a bit more frequently. So today, in case you haven't guessed, I've got a stationary favourites video for you. I was like, I was always one of those kids that it got to the end of August and I was super excited to head into WH Smith and go get all my new pens and my pencil case and all of the new stationery for the school year. It just completely motivated me to get kick started and get into my work even when I was in sixth form and e even at uni. So I've kind of extended that into my adult life and I'm still absolutely obsessed with stationery and I'm basically like that little kid back in Waterstones or in WH Smith every time I go into Paper Chase or look on Etsy. So yeah, this is basically a list of what favourites I use every day almost. I use all of these at least once a week but most of them I use daily. So first up is my list pad. This is from Paper Chase and it's got like a really pretty feminine design if you can see it's got butterflies and it's just a really simple list pad basically. I think it cost me about a fiver and it's literally my haven. I, If I wake up in the morning I don't know what I'm going to do. I just pop down a list of everything I need to do and I try to put it in the right order so shower, breakfast, yoga um, and then like get cracking on work but sometimes it's quite nice to do it before I go to bed so I can get motivated for the next day. So yeah, that's basically what I use this for and I just, I'd be completely lost without it. Every every time a little thought of something that I've forgotten pops into my head, so if I've got to pay the council tax or clean out the pets or anything that, super important that's just going to fly out of my mind, I just pop it down and then later when I come and look at my list, it's there waiting. So, uh, next up is a kind of another little organisational thing and it's my weekly meal planner. Uh, this was actually bought for me as a present and I don't know if Paper Chase still stock it but they definitely still have similar things with the kind of same setup and it's just, it, may, it just makes everything so much easier. Uh, basically, I, we go shopping about once a week, once every eight days and the day before or on the morning I'll just fill out everything that we're going to eat for our meals for like breakfast, lunch and dinner and snacks and if I'm gonna bake I pop it in the notes and then at the edge I just write a list of all the different things we'll need. It just, it makes shopping so much cheaper because I don't go and be like oh I could just get some chocolate biscuits because I might snack on them. Um, so it kind of he helps me keep healthy because I don't buy as much junk food and I'm that person that has the dilemma of oh my god what am I going to have for dinner and if I don't know what I'm going to have I just put it off until I'm too hungry to make something healthy and I end up eating junk food. So yeah this really really helps me get into the right frame of mind at the beginning of the week so that I can eat what I want to eat rather than in the spur of the moment what I've decided. Um, yeah, that's basically why I love this. So next up is something that's kind of connected to that as it's my recipe book. This was another Paper Chase buy but I promise you guys it's the last one on this list. I've just, uh, Paper Chase is just like paradise for me. Um, as you can see it's got different sections, so you've got starters, mains, sides and salads, desserts, baking and notes. I'm not sure if you can see that but that's what it says. Um, and it's got even little pockets at the back so that you can put recipe cards in. You can see that I haven't used them because I'm just not a recipe card kind of person. Are there recipe card people? I don't know, but I just don't have any. Um, so this is basically what each page looks like. You've got the name of the recipe, the prep time, how many people it serves, cooking time, ingredients, and over on the other side it's got instructions. Um, so yeah, th this is basically where all of my favourite, favourite recipes go because otherwise they just get lost in my billions of bookmarks on my browser or I've got 
a whole shelf of cooking books and I'll be like, okay, there's a recipe that I haven't made in three months and it's in one of these. Uh, it just saves so much time hunting through books. Right, now onto the kind of more fun part. I'm not sure, all stationery is fun. So I'm a big, big fan of that lane company and if you haven't heard of them, just go check them out. They do some awesome designs and I love their all their little kind of like motivational quotes and stuff. And the two creators behind it are recent UK university graduates. And yeah, it's basically a UK company and I really, really like supporting companies in the UK because um, you're not paying for things to be shipped all over the world. And it's obviously better for your carbon footprint. So, yeah, these are my favourite little postcards that I've got from them at the moment. And one of them is drooling over pugs on Instagram is not productive. And the other one is, oh bollocks, you're asleep again. Uh, these basically sum up my life. So, uh, when I move into my new flat, I'm hoping to have a kind of wall of motivational prints and quotes. And these are definitely going to be sitting above my desk and reminding me that I actually need to do things. So yeah, they came as a pack of four and they had something something about Netflix and something about Twitter with them, but these two are my favourite out of the four. Box. Finally, um, we've got this Start Where You Are journal. I only bought this out a week ago and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It's basically, it's categorised as a self-help book and it it kind of does that. I'm gonna write a whole blog post on this and I'm possibly going to d dedicate a whole kind of video to it but I'm not sure about that yet. So basically it's a book that encourages self-reflection. So you have all different things that it asks you to do. As you can see like this one has got a table on it, it says what I want to do, what others will think, what others will do about it. And each page has a watercolour written, uh, made by the author. And this one is kind of circle the things you worship most, then underline the things you'd rather worship. So they've got all bits and bobs like this, and then some days, some pages, they're just asking you to kind of write something down. And I just find it's a really, really nice way to finish off my day and think about what I've done during the day, reflect on my life. And if you've ever done any kind of CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, it's, it really reminds me of that. But obviously you don't have to go out to sessions, you just sit in the evening or in the morning or whatever time of day you want and just fill out a page or two. And yeah, I found it's really nice looking back over things. So I've done, um, what are three things that made you smile today? And so mine was, I made a yummy risotto, I... I'm looking for, I'm going to look for a flat with my partner and find one we really, really like. And I had loads of fruit. So, yeah, it was pretty like, <laughs> pretty small things, but they kind of make, they make a difference. And so it's nice to think about things like that. Anyway, that's the end of my stationery video. So I really, really hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know what you're kind of crushing on in terms of stationery and as always give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.